Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. Here I'm in sight of a buy to sell. Ash is behind the camera, which is where he likes to be. I was supposed to meet him at eight. Um, I left a little bit late and the traffic was awful. So <clears throat> I got here at nine, which is awful. Anyway, what we're doing here is we're doing our final snag. It is just about to go on the market. So we bought this property for 164. Uh, it was a 21 grand refurb and it's is it gone on the market already it's already gone on the market but we're just doing our final final snagging list um, and it's gone on the market for 250 so we expect to sell it around the 250 mark bought for 164 21 grand refurb not bad and the reason we bought it um, discounted it would be it was being sold through an auction and it actually didn't get sold at auction so we like to buy pre during and post and this one was a post and and the reason why it didn't sell the guy had his reserve set just a little bit too high so we'll do a few videos so you can see how we stage up buy to sell but today's video is about dead flies <laughs> because we got one so not just uh, Ash and I are here doing the final snagging and I'll show you a tiny little thing that's niggling me uh, in the kitchen and we just want to make sure it's as perfect as it can possibly be for our viewers because it's already gone in the market and we're just about to start getting viewers. But beyond the snagging, uh, we've picked up the mail, we're going to be picking up the mail every couple of weeks. You want to make sure that you bring in cleaners to properties because dead flies on windowsill ah, are just not a good look because you don't feel like you want to buy a house with a dead fly. And we got one. <laughs> You're not going to close up my dead fly? No. <laughs> um, so beyond snagging, make sure you bring cleaners in every two weeks. Either you turn up and pick up the mail or your cleaners pick up the mail and deliver it onto you and make sure dead flies. I mean, for the sake of £10 an hour for a cleaner, if the place is immaculate, they're just going to give it a quick sprinkle. You just don't want some lady coming along and going, oh, I really don't want to buy that house because there's like a dead fly in it. And I know that sounds really silly, but it can happen. So let me show you a couple of snagging things in the kitchen. One, one dead fly. Two, one of our lights are out up there. And again, it just kind of shows lack of attention to detail and I don't want that. And then three, um, the first thing people do is when they come into the kitchen is they test everything out, don't they? And look at this drawer. Now you can close it, but it's niggly. And I just don't want a drawer to be niggly. Um, so, uh, Tiny little bit of a snag, the guys are going to snag that, no problem. So Ash and I are making a list and we'll send it on to them. And then today being the day our bookkeeper's in, as long as they can get it resolved, then we'll come back out, check it, and they can get paid. And the other thing, the, this window isn't too bad actually, but we have noticed that we do need all the windows cleaned as well. So we're going around, we're testing all the electrics, we're testing, not testing as in certifying, just testing, making sure all the plugs work, making sure the plugs are straight, making sure the bulbs are sorted, making sure it's clean, making sure there's nothing else wrong with the place like tiny little niggles like that uh, and then uh, it should sell we hope very quickly so 164 wasn't it ash 21 refurb on the market for 250 fingers crossed see you soon bye